is a tutorial for Toon Boom Harmony Essentials. And what I'm going to show you how to do right now is how to use the cutter effect on your scene. So basically the cutter effect is uh, like a mask. If you use masks in other programs, it basically whatever the cutter tool is over, it will hide that part of the character. Or if you invert it, it will show that part of the character. So I'm going to show you how to add that to your scene. So I've gone and selected the dog master layer, which is the group that has all the parts of my character right here. And there are a couple ways you can add that effect uh, to the system, to the um, scene. One way is to right click and go up to insert and down to effects. And you can find cutter there. Or you can hit this little plus sign right here, just add layers, drop to effects and find cutter again that way. Or you can go to insert effects and cutter. So I've gone and added cutter to my dog master layer and you can see it down here. Now nothing's happened to the to the character because I don't have a mat, which is basically the layer that uh, the cutter pulls from to know where to show or hide the layer that is being cuttered. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is add a layer, a drawing layer that has something that you can use as a mat. Rename it as Met, close and add, and let's see, we're going to use the ellipse tool. I'm going to, oh, it's already selected. I'm going to use it, uh, the auto fill, so it'll just make a white circle without, instead of just making a white line. I'm going to drag that over here and let go. Oops. Okay. So as you can see, whoops, that's why it's being affected. It's actually in my dog master scene. Let's take that out of there. There we go. All right, so here we have our white circle. And all it's doing is actually, it's actually showing up in the scene because I haven't attached it to the cutter. To do that, I use the plus symbol here on my cutter layer. And that will drop down another little sub layer. And it'll basically ask for you to put uh, the asset in that will act as your mat. In this case, I'm going to take the matte layer and drag it into that. And now, you can see the white circle disappeared, and so has part of our character. So wherever that white circle is, is where our character cannot be seen. And I can actually move that around. And if we go to Cutter and look at its layer properties, we can see that there's actually no parameters or values that we can change at all. The only thing that we can change is whether or not the cutter is inverted. If we go ahead and do that, that basically means anything within the circle, the mat layer circle, is what will be shown. And uh, you can actually animate this effect by animating the layer that is being, uh, that is acting as the mat. So let's say uh, we want to move or change the size of the mat. So let's go ahead and shrink that down. So we can just see the character's face here. I'm going to go ahead and extend our character here. And we're going to add a keyframe with F6, and it's already interpolated. We're also going to extend the mat uh, by hitting F, uh, F5 to extend the actual art drawing. Uh, so. Now that we have that, I'm going to go to this point, and I'm going to say what the matte layer will look like by the time the animation gets to that point in the timeline. There we go. So the circle's now huge. If I were to take the matte off, you'd see that the circle is ch has changed shape to inco incorporate the entire camera view. So if I go ahead and animate that, It's quick, but you can see that it does change shape because the drawing layer, which, ac which acts as the match for our cutter, animates, therefore the cutter animates. And that is how you use the cutter effect.